one other thing. In 2020, the Republicans put forward a plan under President Trump to refill the Strategic Petroleum Reserve because gas prices were at record low, oil prices were at record low. And Chuck Schumer, the Senate Democratic leader at the time, said he was proud to be the one to kill it. Okay, so now they're announcing to take a million barrels out a day. We use 25 million barrels, or I'm sorry, it's more than that. I don't have the number here, but it's a drop in the bucket. And they have, they've announced no plan to refill it. It's supposed to be for emergency. Well, you know, with regard to that, Jesse, I mean, they're, they're talking about releasing a million barrels a day, which apparently is 1.3 million barrels below where we were when Trump was in office. And in November, when we tapped the reserve, and then again in March, when we tapped the reserve, gas prices went down for a minute, and then they blew up again. What good does it do? Here's how dumb Chuck Schumer is. When Trump wanted to restock the reserves, or was it $24 a barrel? That would have been the best time to restock the stockpile. And now, so he's going to shed about a third of the stockpile, $180 million out of 560 million barrels. That's the stockpile. We're letting go a third of the stockpile. He, someone's going to have to replenish that. It's never going back down to 24 in the next couple of years. So we're going to have to pay more money to fill up the cupboard. Bush, in the summer, 2008, when oil prices were really high, did this big speech. He said, we're going to do everything we can here in America to drill domestically. And the very next day, oil prices on the world market went down $10. It was just on that speech, and that's what Joe Biden doesn't understand. You have to send a signal to the producers in the market, 